Okay, so as I start this one, um, the notes that I posted online have these equations, um, and one of the worksheets has them as well. So I just want to talk through them. Um, this is the the formula that we use when we have um, when we're gaining interest on money, um, and it's not compounded continuously. So A is the amount, P is the initial amount. Sometimes we describe that as let me write over here. Um, Sometimes that initial amount, I do a sub zero. So that's just telling me my amount at time zero. And then I have a equals, um, oh, sorry, back to this one. R is the rate. So that's usually um, a percentage that we then change to a decimal. N is the number of times it's compounded. Um, and T is, is time. This next equation is um, a equals P times E to the RT. That's that pert. Um, this is when it is compounded continuously. So same idea, the amount, the initial amount, the principal, the rate, and the time. And E, of course, is about 2.7. These next two are both either growth or decay problems. Um, let me find some scratch paper. OK, so what happens with those um, is they're growth problems when 1 plus R, um, or excuse me, it's a growth problem when it's 1 plus R, and you have 1 plus the rate. Or it's a growth problem in this particular situation when A is bigger than 1. Then that's going to grow. There are decay problems when it's 1 minus R. You're taking 100% minus that rate that you've got. Um, or if the A value in this equation right here is between 0 and 1. Okay, so those are both like growth and decay formulas. They're just one of them, well, 1 plus or minus R is equal to A. So that's just kind of what's happening there. Um, this next one here is um, the half-life. Um, so with a half-life situation, we've got, sometimes we write it this way. Um, that might be better. T for time, H for the half-life. So often they'll say, like, um, your radioactive iodine or whatever decays at a rate of, you know, it, it, you have half the material after 100 days. I don't know. I'm making something up. Um, so if, if you've let it decay for 200 days, then you would do the 200 divided by 100, and you've had a, an opportunity to have two full half-lives happen, if that makes sense. Um, so let's jump in and look at, at the examples. I have three examples. We'll do them pretty quick. Um, so it's got a, this is a half-life problem, uh, 23 hours. So A is equal to, we, um, what did I call it? A naught. Let's call it that. Okay, so here's my formula. So I want 10 grams to, or sorry, I want 30 grams to become 10 grams. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do know it, it decays. It, we get half the material every 23 hours. So this becomes one third is equal to one half raised to the t over 23. At this point, I have a, um, a variable in my exponent, so I'm going to take the log of both sides. I can bring my exponent out front. And t is being multiplied by log of 1 half and divided by 23, so I'm going to undo that. Instead of multiplying, I'm going to divide log of 1 half. Instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply. So I get that t is equal to 23 log of 1 third divided by log of 1 half. OK, um, and I can grab a calculator but I'm too lazy. Uh, well, anyway, it, go check the answer key online because I did finish it there. The next one, determine the interest rate on a savings account with an initial deposit compounded continuously. Okay, as soon as we see that word, we know what to do pert. Okay, so it was $500 that yields 1000 And, oh, so sorry, that's not, my bad. Pretend that's multiplication, I don't know. I'm tired. Okay, um, and then the rate we don't know, correct, but we do know that the time is eight years. So when I divide that, oh my, okay, keeping me honest here, um, keeping me humble. So I divide, 1,000 divided by 500 is 2 is equal to, there, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to take the natural log of both sides because I see that E, and natural log of E, those things cancel out, and I get that 
natural log of 2 is equal to 8r, therefore r is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 8. And there's a decimal approximation on the, um, the notes posted. Last one, how long will it take an investment of? Now, with this one, that says the investment's going to triple. Um, I don't even care what this value is. You, could, you can use that, but when I have um, it's compounded quarterly, here's my equation. If this triples, that means this value here is three times as big as that. Well, I just need to divide that off anyway, so I'm just going to say 3 is equal to 1 plus, I have a rate of 0 0.105. I changed that, des that percent to a decimal. And quarterly means I'm going to compound it four times. Um, how long will it take? Okay, we don't know. That's T right here. This becomes, if I remember correctly, 1.02625 um, raised to the 4T. I just worked for that a couple times this morning. Um, and now I'm back to where I've been. So I can take the log of both sides, um, go check the rest of, um, of the notes to see the final answer. I'm, I'm out.